Oh my gosh, hello everybody. I have been gone for a while. Um, I don't know, I just kind of disappeared. And uh, I just got super busy and I didn't really have time to film. And I also lost the motivation to do it as well. Um, and I never found uh, the garden or anything that came from the 2023 garden. Honestly, it wasn't great. <laughs> I did grow a lot of things. The only thing I still have out there is the Brussels sprouts, but they didn't really grow too much. They they just weren't they weren't great. Nothing really was. I got tomatoes and those ended up getting um blossom rot or whatever that thing is called the blossom root rot or whatever that is. Um my cucumbers again, they turned yellow. I, but I will share a picture or a few pictures of like how my garden looked. It looks really pretty. Um, but it is getting time to start planning for another garden. I probably won't be doing as much as I did last year because it was a little overwhelming. Uh, I think that's par partly why I kind of stopped filming and everything just because it was a lot to handle. Uh, but I, I think I just really need to get back into filming again because I really enjoyed it. Um, and you know, I don't really want this channel just to be about cooking or uh, gardening or anything. I just want to film whatever stuff's fun, whatever I'm into and whatever I like. Um, right now my life is kind of a disaster. Um, my kitchen is a disaster. We, I kind of had this, hold on, I'm trying to take this freaking piece of chuck roast beef out without really touching it, but I have to touch it. I had this just sudden urge, dang it. I had this sudden urge to do beadboard up in my kitchen and I honestly, we're not done with it yet. But I've been really into that look. And I've been really obsessed with like the farmhouse say look. Um, you can kind of see it right there in the back. It does still need a few things. Like I need to wipe off all of the, um, what is it called? Like the molding that we use to fill the staple holes. And then I just need to paint the whole beef board. Um, and then I also, I kind of redid my, just repainted my whole kitchen the same color as I painted the house. Um, yeah, so I just have to paint the beef board white. I'm just gonna go over all of it. I'll show you a little bit more in detail. It did get super dirty while we were, mostly Nick was, doing the, you know, the beadboard, it got super dirty and stuff. I don't want to get it done before Christmas because I'll be hosting Christmas for just my, my mom. Um, which a lot of things kind of happened over the year. Um, yeah, <laughs> I mean, I'm just, just reflecting back on this year has been kind of a little chaotic and crazy. My mom moved out of state. Uh, me and my mom are best friends. We are super, super close. And so I was trying to take up all of the time that I could with her. Um, so that meant kind of seeing each other very, very frequently. We saw each other probably almost every day because she lived in the same neighborhood for a few months. And now she moved to a different state. She was about five five and a half hours further away now and that's just really different because we have always lived super close to each other and um it's just weird to you know get used to um but that has been kind of going on but yeah i'm hosting christmas i wanted to get this beadboard done i have it's what day is it wednesday and Christmas is on Monday. Um, and then Christmas Eve we'll be spending at 
Nick's family's house, his aunt. So I won't really have much time to do anything that day either. So really Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, I'll be doing things here, hopefully. Honestly, I don't like it right now. I think it looks very weird and awkward and not how I thought it would look. But hopefully when we get the paint in, or the paint on, I should say, it'll look better. I'm hoping. I'm really, really hoping. Um, right now, I am making a uh, pot roast. No, not a pot roast. I made a pot roast a couple of days ago. And I asked Nick, I was like, is it okay if we have, not we, but him, if I cook you some stew, like beef stew, it uses the same meat as the pot roast would. And so I'm like, is that okay? I mean, it's, it's different. It's the same meat, but it is like a different thing. It'll be easier on me though, because it's just a crock pot meal that I can prep right now. And then I'll be cooking all day. And then I will probably just have tomato soup and grilled cheese because that sounds really good. But I'm searing the meat right now with some flour, garlic. Um, oh shit, I need these tongs. Flour, garlic, butter. No, not butter, sorry. Pepper and salt. And I'm using this cast iron that Nick just got. Honestly, you guys, I don't know if it's just a lack of knowledge or I just, you know, need to educate myself a little bit more on this cast iron, but I don't like dealing with it sometimes. I really don't. I, it's not like it's a lot of work, but it kind of is at the same time. I like to wash things. So I don't know. The thing about this cast iron, I might be doing it wrong, like taking care of it wrong, but ooh, it creates this cakey black, what do you call that? Charm or just like an ash? I don't know, but uh, maybe I need to season it more. I just honestly, I don't like seasoning it because all of the ways that I've read on seasoning it is you, you would clean it or whatever, and then you would stick it in your oven at 500 degrees. Well, first you would coat it with, you know, a, um, an oil, and then you would throw it upside down in your oven for an hour, I think at 500 degrees. And the fact that it was um, smoking, I just got super scared because I don't want my oven to catch on fire. I get super scared of fires. I don't really like dealing with a fireplace. I know I probably should get over that, but I, if I ever cause a fire, I don't know. It just, I don't like the thought of that. <laughs> so I think that's seared enough. I'm going to go ahead and throw this in the crock pot. Oh no, it's dripping. Oh yeah. I guess it is just a disaster right now. I just don't know how to... I can't. I can't cook in my kitchen when it's in my house. I just... That's, no. This is how it works. I just can't do it. And my kitchen is a mess right now. Everything that I had on the counters is on the dining room table. And... It's just... Ugh, it's a mess. Talking about in this cast iron is it creates like this layer of black like char or I don't really know what to call it but like an ash and if I heat it up and grab a paper towel rub the paper towel in oil get it you know like a little moist and I you know try to wipe it out a little bit the paper towel bits will just get in there and it's just gross and annoying and I don't want there to be paper towel bits in here you know I don't want that on our food I really just think I need to season it better and season it more, but I just don't like seasoning it because I don't want to catch the oven and house on fire. So I don't know. I, I, we did it once when Nick was here, 
because I'm like, uh, can you season it for me? Because I don't really want to catch a fire or if I do, you'll be here and you can deal with it. Um, I don't really do good on, in these kinds of situations. I would panic, but I really shouldn't. Um, yeah, my knives are over here on the table. But yeah, I don't, ah! see, just chaotic, just totally chaotic. Now I'm cutting up some potatoes. I don't have everything the recipe calls for, but that is fine because we adapt. You know, we adapt to different recipes. If we don't have everything, we're still gonna make it. It's just not gonna be the same as the recipe would be. Um, really, I'm just going to put potatoes, carrots. I don't have any onions, so I will just put onion flakes. I have onion flakes that I got from Costco. And what else? Oh, is this peas? I, I do have peas. But they're canned peas, so I don't really want them getting mushy in here. This will be cooking for four to six hours on low. In the last two hours, I might bump it up to high. Um, but I just kind of have a lot going on right now. And Christmas is days away. It's less than a week away. It's a lot of potatoes. I need to get a couple, actually I only need to get one more thing for Nick as a present and then I need to, I have most presents wrapped. The only presents I don't have wrapped right now is his presents. So I have to find time to wrap those before Saturday. And then, what else do I gotta do? Finish the kitchen. Um, I'm gonna finish making this pot roast and then we'll, we'll get back with each other. Okay, I have the kitchen somewhat cleaned. It is clean, but it's not what I want it to be yet. Um, and then I have the uh, beef stew. I always wanna call it pot roast. I have the beef stew cooking and I tried to put a little bit more oil in this pan and um, heat it up a little bit because one, I'm really trying to just dry it off because I did put some beef broth in there and I'm just trying to dry it, dry it up. But yeah, I'll have to play around with this cast iron and really try and educate myself a little bit more on it. But I want to show you guys the beadboard. Um, don't judge because it's not done yet. It's obviously super dirty. It has not been cleaned yet just because we're still finishing like putting the putty on and filling those nail holes. Um, and then we gotta, you know, wipe the, all that extra stuff off and then get this a little wipe down before we paint it or I paint it. I'm probably gonna do the painting. He did most of the, like all this stuff cause it was a little tricky trying to get the measurements. Whoever put these cabinets on, or it was either the sh the, um, the counters or the cabinets. One of the two is crooked. So from here to here is not the same height. It'll either go down or it'll go up, <laughs> if that makes any sense. Um, but <sighs> one thing that does kind of bother me right now is it does stop where the cabinet stops, not the counter. I just thought it would look a little weird if there was extra beadboard and then, you know, then the cabinet, I guess, if that makes any sense. Uh, here's a better example. So this, it ends right at the cabinet instead of going all the way over where the counter goes over. I'm not sure how I feel about that, but hopefully, oh, don't mind the door, I need to clean that off too. But I just... 
I really just need to get it painted and cleaned. Hopefully it'll change my mind about it a little bit more. Same goes for here. Um, and then we did put like a little bit of molding up. <sighs> but I don't know. I I'm just so undecided on it. I really hope we I like it once I finish painting and making it look pretty because he put so much glue to attach the beadboards that it's probably not going to come off. The next people that live in here, or the people that try to take it off, I am so sorry. Good luck. <laughs> like, sorry. Um, but like here you see there is the nail holes. They are tiny, but I cannot leave it like this. So we do have a couple more holes to fill. And once those holes are filled, then I will go ahead and wipe off all of the molding. Or not the molding, but the, um, I don't know what that stuff is called. Like putty, the things, the stuff that you would fill holes in the walls with. And then paint it. I do also have to finish painting this little ceiling part. This part was super tricky to paint just because a paint roller did not fit most of the area. You can kind of see that it's like not fully covered. Um, it used to be white. I just have to go over this area right here by hand, hand painting. <laughs> um, and then I'll probably touch up like a few more areas such as that one. I have a couple more days to do that. Hopefully I'll get it done by Saturday, end of day, hopefully because Sunday will probably be busy. And then I'll also be baking and stuff like that and cooking a couple of things for Monday. That's gonna be fun. And then Saturday night, we also might go to a little Christmas thing because we haven't been to any Christmas thing this December. And I really just wanna go. I wanna go to a freaking Christmas thing. And each weekend we keep like coming up with excuses or we're just too tired at the end of the day. Hopefully. Uh, I did get my tree up though. I just want to show you guys. I'm just like random vlog right now because I really need to get back into it, you know, and I'm just not going to show you my tree. This is, we got this beginning of this month. So it is, it is getting a little on the drier side. <laughs> um, I actually probably need to put some water in it right now. I'll do that. But it is a, not a Douglas fir, a noble. And I am, I've never had a noble tree ever in my life. And oh my God, I love it. It's the most beautiful tree that you could possibly ever get. It has this blueish tint on the bottom of the leaves. I can't describe it, but it, it reminds me of that plant, Cebu Blue. And I just love it. You can't really tell much anymore because it's, it is starting to dry out a little bit, you know, but yeah. Well, I, I guess I'll just end it right here. I really don't, I wanted to do like a little, I'm coming back kind of video and, um, hopefully get back into it. I'm not going to show you my garden now because it's super depressing. I'm leaving most of everything out there until maybe January, February, springtime, just because I'm, there's still a lot of birds that are feeding off of, off of the seeds and I just want to leave that for them. Um, and I don't really want to go out there right now because it's so cold. It's like 40 something and it's just too cold. And it's extra food for the birds because the birds suffer and they have a harder time finding food in the winter. So I want to give that to them along with, you know, the bird feeders that I have out in the front yard. <sighs> but yeah, I don't know. This, this vlog video was a little chaotic. I'm sorry, but um, hopefully I'm back. <laughs> hopefully I'm in a good mood today. So we'll see how, how um, far along this continues. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and a wonderful rest of your year. I'm probably maybe going to post another video later this week slash next week. 
my mom is coming on Friday, Thursday, Friday. And so we're probably gonna have like a little shopping day and maybe I'll, I'll vlog that because I love shopping and I love shopping with my mom. We always have so much fun. But until next time, you guys have a great day and we'll see you later next time. Bye!